Hey everyone, uh, back here with another vlog. I just got a little short story I wanted to share with you. I just came back from uh, the store, uh, Walmart, the greatest store there is. I'm sure all of you agree with that. Hello. I'm vlogging it now. Um, I was just um, at the store and then I'm there and I'm looking for a video game. I just got some new random cheap video game, something to get me through the night, you know. Because uh, I got some, yeah, I got a bunch of free time. But, anyways, so I'm there at the store and then I go by this couple, this, uh, I'm gonna call him the douchey guy, douchey guy and woo girl. We'll just give them those nicknames for now because I don't know their names. If they want to contact me with their real names, I'll edit that in. But anyway, so I'm at uh, the Walmart, and anyways, I'm just wearing my regular jeans stuff. It's late at night. I don't feel like we're getting dressed up or anything, but I just got my regular jeans on. And there's a hole in the back, but it's not like a big hole or anything. So like, if you like stare at my ass, you can actually see like what kind of underwear I'm wearing. And it's like, uh, well, it's uh, black box briefs in case you're wondering what type of underwear I wear. Uh, but um. You know, as I, but this guy, this guy goes back, goes by me, and then he's just like, nice holes. And assume, and because it's uh, a bit kind of late for a Walmart, every night I parked in like uh, right next to the handicaps lot at the Super Walmart, I'm assuming he's this like this douchebag's talking to me. So I turn around and look at him, I'm like, you got a problem? He's like, dude, no, you just look ridiculous. And I just look at him, and I look at him, and he's wearing skinny jeans. I tell, I actually, I, I was thinking uh, about this now, about how it reminds me of this episode of Smart Guy, for those who, you know, watch the old Disney uh, kids sitcoms, you know, like with Boy Meets World, they're a smart guy, I was always a smart guy fan, but, uh, and there's an episode where the, bro like, the brother teaches uh, TJ, I think the kid's name is, like, How to Talk Smack. You know, instead of going with who your mama is, you know, and stuff like that, like they do in the TV show, what I actually do is say, like, dude, man, if your jeans are any tighter, I wouldn't even be able to guess if you had a crotch or not. And then he looked at me, he kind of looked, like, piss, actually. And then his girlfriend actually laughed, which was funny, because I have the bad habit of making girls uh, like me. So I don't know why, but, like, giving it beats me. But anyways, so that all happens, and then I just walked away, and it felt, like, really, uh, it felt really like pretty badass having said that stuff because I just walked away didn't even give him a second glance. I can just imagine he's in the car like her like she like she he like like why are you looking at my skinny jeans and she's like oh well, he made like, funny comments so you know it was kind of the moment thing but I had to let you guys know the story because it was just you know just send your warning out there if you want to tango with me better realize I'm not just fast with the hands fast with the tongue too. I don't know why I did that. All right, till next time, I'll see you then.